Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Lebanon, Tennessee and we're getting ready to take you guys to a restaurant which according to their website has consistently been ranked as the number one Chinese restaurant here in Wilson County, Tennessee. And Best Things Tennessee, the website, has ranked this restaurant as one of the top five Chinese restaurants in the entire state of Tennessee. One of our viewers reached out to us on Facebook and messaged us directly and requested for us to try a Chinese restaurant. So we thought there's no place better than right here at... Peking. Peking. Woo. Uh, there is an extensive list of things here, so I'm going to kind of just scan over the menu and feel free to hit pause at any time if something catches your eye here. Here are the appetizers, the soups, the pork options, as well as vegetarian options. Here are the chicken options. Right here is the seafood. And the beef options. Here are the chef specialties. Beverages that do serve Coke products. Nice chow mein, lo mein, and extras. They do have a Sunday lunch buffet from 11 a.m. to 2.30 for $10.99. And here are the lunch options if you come here for lunch. All right, we just got our wonton soup all around. And what is great is they have these fried wonton noodles that come with it. This restaurant um, came about in 1986. And my family um, is from Wilson County. I grew up in Wilson County. Um, don't live there any longer, but um, sometimes we come by here when we're on our way back from Knoxville because it's off of Interstate 40. So this is my very favorite wonton soup out of all Chinese restaurants. It's so good. It's very like savory uh, beef broth and you get the green onion and then the Noodles are always cooked perfectly al dente, and these crispy noodles are the best at any Chinese restaurant. And Mandarin Peking is actually Beijing. In Cantonese, in the Cantonese dialect, it is Peking. So we're basically eating, if you're speaking in the Mandarin dialect, we're eating at Beijing right now. All right, so I got the General So's chicken. Gentry and Henry are sharing the chicken lo mein here. And then, Jennifer, what did you get? I got the fried cashew chicken. So it has vegetables, fried chicken, of course, and it has water chestnuts and the toasted cashews. They gave us a huge bowl of fried rice here to share. So Jennifer's gonna try her first bite here. And this is something that we actually started getting my family um, when we first started coming here. I've tried many different dishes here and I've never been disappointed. I love it all. Um, but this is one of my favorite dishes that they have. It's got the crispy fried chicken and the roasted cashews and the vegetables and then the, um, the brown sauce also that goes with it. So sweet and savory and um, lots of vegetables as well. Delicious as always. Um, I really like the nuttiness of the roasted cashews and uh, the chicken is tender on the inside crispy on the outside and then you have that really good sauce and then the crunch of the water chestnuts and the vegetables are cooked perfectly as well all right so one thing that stands out to me is not only is this a very lightly breaded general sauce chicken but if you look there's carrots peas uh, right over here we have some green peppers here we go, first bite. Oh, there's a water chestnut in there too. That's the other thing I wanna point out is a water chestnut. I love the layers of flavor with the green peppers, the carrots, the peas. The sauce is kind of initially a little sweet with a, a slight kick. It's not incredibly spicy, but I also love the light batter 
that that is huge to me because sometimes you go to the restaurants and the batter is just so thick that you're basically chewing on the batter but you get a lot more of the chicken taste with the water chestnuts adding to a little bit of the bite in there this is one incredible general Tso's chicken and i have to say if if you're not into spices this is not too spicy at all it just has a very minimal uh kick or burn at the end but it's, it's more sweet than anything else but very delicious all right final bill came out too after tax and before tip, $54.60. So we really got eight meals because everybody had a ton left over because it's so filling. Look and, at that. And the prices here and the portions are amazing and the taste is always consistent. Gentry just opened his fortune cookie. What's it say there, bud? Everybody watching will subscribe. <laughs> What's it really say? Better aim at the moon than shoot into the well. Henry's breaking up in his fortune cookie. All right. What's it say? It might be a challenge as a preschooler to read that, right? Exchanging compliments is intellectual back scratching. What's your fortune say? Mine says like and subscribe too. <laughs> <laughs> Wink, wink, didn't you? Be receptive to new ideas from all fronts. It says, courage is the hallmark of the warrior. All right, everybody. That was Peking here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Or if you're a non-local, it's Lebanon like the country, but it's actually pronounced Lebanon. Uh, if you're a local here, you know it's Lebanon. Uh, with that in mind, guys, we're doing an outro inside the truck. It's a little windy. We don't have our windscreens with us today. So, Henry... What did you think about Peking? It was good, and I really liked it, and it was good, and um, I like it everything, and I like it as soup. All right, and Gentry. I'm not really a Chinese kind of guy when it comes to eating, but this place, I mean, I love Peking. Every single time I go here, um, it's the first time I've tried the noodles, I think. I really like their noodles, and I usually get a uh, chicken when I come here. Chicken and rice, stuff like that. But uh, the noodles here are really good, so I would definitely come here and just get the noodles. <laughs> All right. And Jennifer? <laughs> um, this is my favorite Chinese restaurant of all time. Um, it's consistent every time. The prices are very, very fair. You get a lot of food, so you can share. Like, we usually, you know, everybody tries a little bit of everybody else's dish and everything, and we always have leftovers, so we have enough for leftovers for everybody in our family. And uh, the soup there is my favorite. I love their wonton soup. It's my favorite wonton soup of anywhere. And uh, the crispy noodles, they are different than anywhere also. I don't know what they do differently, but they are the best. And sweet tea alert, their sweet tea is always great here. I've also had their hot tea. So if you enjoy hot tea, um, their, uh, their uh, Chinese hot tea is very, very good here. It's been a while since I've had it, but they serve it in like a, a teapot and everything and you get the little cups with it and everything so it's really neat my mom and i used to share a pot of tea here uh, every now and then but yes great 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 restaurant and a good small hometown place this was an excellent meal obviously this wasn't our first time here we have been here many times throughout the years uh, the water chestnuts with the General Tso's chicken is where it's at. I wish every Chinese restaurant would add those water chestnuts in there because it just adds a whole new element that is unmatched when it comes to General Tso's chicken. We have to say thank you again to Marcus Johnson for, uh, thank you Marcus, for uh, recommending us to go to a Chinese restaurant. We were looking back through our catalog of videos and realized we have never filmed at a Chinese restaurant. So very happy to be here today very happy for the recommendation and by the way if you've given us recommendations before whether it be a restaurant or a hotel we write down every single recommendation that you guys send us and we really appreciate those um, you've given us a lot of things to consider and a lot of uh, places that we're still going to have to visit and I know some recommendations are well over a year ago that we received they're still on our list it's just a matter of finding the right time and opportunity to be able to go and visit those places so um, we have intended to visit every place if, if possible so we write down every recommendation and uh, 
And with that being said, if you're watching this video or watch our videos in general, we thank you so much for watching our videos. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Lebanon, Tennessee at Peking. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.